This one's pretty. Uh, then again, I said that about Endwalker too. Hi, Corny. Hi, Veda. And flame. <laughs> Sorry if the wrong YouTube live went live. Uh, OBS has been deciding that it doesn't want to target properly at the moment. Hi, Taka. The opening memoir is 10 to 10. M yes, M. Walker and uh, Shadowbringers both have really good ones. Oh yeah, I forgot. I want a giant bloody red moon. Suddenly eyeballs searing out of your head. Welcome to... Uh, we are currently on the red side of the moon. We're on the 13th moon. It's where I left off the other day. So, uh, to catch the story up on what we did, let me turn on, sorry, I didn't realize double auto. Let me catch up uh, the story on what we did. Uh, using the Garlemald Teller Tower of Babel and our own moon, we made a giant ass void gate and all of us came through, including our dragon friend. So we're all here. Sorry if uh, there was weird audio. I didn't realize uh, desktop audio was there. Aw, you should probably sleep then, but I saw what you uh, messaged me in DMs. Good luck. I hope, you get, I hope you're able to. Especially get some semblance of normality back in your life. Alright, so Istinian, there's Yishtola over there. So Gobaz's place is here on his moon. The surface of the moon is grim shade of crimson, a flooded, uh, consequence of the flood of darkness, perhaps. But I hope you're doing well, Taka. Actually, uh, Nixie, can you give Taka a shout out? I think our moon's better. I think our moon's at least got life on it. This one's pretty desolate. Oh, you already did? Okay. I'm 
sorry. I don't even have his minion because his minion's like 25 million gil. Do I have any minion I can use right now that kind of matches what he might be? Hold on. God, I don't even have the the shoe bill. Screw it. Never mind, we can't summon our menu here. No, actually I can't because I don't have 25 million gil. I have 4.7 million. Wait, where's zero? Oh, there's zero. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just gonna talk to the NPC over here. Alright, hold on. Let me go punch Black Rose in the face then. I think he's got 25 million. Uh oh. Oh! Well, that's, uh, that's Goldbez's place right there. Get our point of interest. So what we're working on right now is we're on the 13th, uh, the moon. There's the 13th, that planet. We're on the moon. Uh, we're here because this is where Golbez's castle is. All right, so we're gonna head back over to Zero, who's over here. Um, I'm not sure how much left is left in this quest line. If we do happen to finish the 13th quest line, we'll work on the uh, the 12 gods one instead. I figure on Wednesdays where I play solo, I'll work on my story content, and then with Haru and Shibu, I'll work on like leveling with them and stuff. Hmm, I wonder what's in this giant pit. Oh, I don't know. Golvez's castle. The chasm has caught your attention as well. Oh, nice! Kitty, kitty, kitty! My cat is sleeping on my dirty socks. I wonder who lives down here. There's some manner of structure below. Worth a look, wouldn't you say? I too sense something here. Okay. This pit much resembles the Cradle of Darkness on our moon, where Zodiac was once imprisoned. Hi, Len! If this place serves the same function, then a fragment of his power must have been sealed in the depths. Strange, though. When Zodiac perished in the Source, I presumed that every aspect of him was thus unmade, and his power scattered. But it's unmistakable. The darkness that permeates this abyss. Could a trace of him yet remain? Or is it something else? Oh, there's our dragon. So yeah, the the, uh, the void gate we made was big enough to, you know, make a dragon come in through it. So here's Vitra. <sighs> I hear you, sister. I hear you. Don't rush in. Okay, good. Climb on, my friends. Astaya is here. Within this chasm. Hmm. Her name's gonna be Ham. Let's take a look. Aw, she's so cute! Well, it's gonna be an orange kitty. You're gonna need a feisty kitty. Into the pit we go! So yeah, uh, we ended up bringing uh, Vitra in his dragon form and not in his uh, his Sartrap homunculi 
whatever form because we need the dragon with us. There's Asdaya. Oh, I'm gonna cry. This is a teary moment. He's been looking for his sister for so long. His sister took care of him when he was still an egg. You entrusted they are Ash super Dyer's close. Eye, were you not? Yes, I do have her eyeball on me. Hold on, let me pull it out of my butt. Oh, it's glowing. So, to those who don't understand, dragon eyes are full of magical aether, and they can willingly give them out to people to use their power. She looks like Vitra, which is nice, except for their head. Cool. Um. Ashtaya. She's been here for so long. Oh, black home, Erta. Oh, hi, Schmidt. So they're speaking dragon. Alright, good night, Veda. Okay, so what you're telling me is I need to beat up Golbez. Understood. So this is indeed Golbez's domain. Keys are in. Yeah, she's been gone for a long time. I don't think she realizes they're not fighting anymore. <laughs> She knew they were still fighting the humans. For war, Meradar, Ian, An. Less I am call on this sword be room. She wanted to save Tiamat, which was captured by Alagon. And then she flew here to try and, like, you know, end them. Yeah, she's been gone for so long. Yeah, by the way, sister, I run a nation now. Just, just thought I'd let you know. She's been here thousands of years. My God. What now then? Does this great worm intend to remain a captive meal for all eternity, not daring to test her chains? You tell him. 
to start. So, what can you tell us? Okay, so he can't travel far. Okay, so he's somewhere in this palace. He shouldn't have many minions up. We've, we've killed all of his minions. Shall we look into this spot near and dear to our enemy's heart? All right. Well, we found Ashdaya. She is alive, thank God. All right. Tiamat, right? I think we freed Tiamat. Please, God, can I use my mount here? All right. Here's the moon. Mare Lamentorum. Which, no, Razor, we don't want to log in. All right, so we got to go this way. What's my gear look like? All right. up this way somewhere. All right, what do we see? Wait, hold on. I like how he just like phases in, phases out, phases in, phases out. <laughs> Giant ass worm. <laughs> Right, I do realize it's right there, but I'm gonna check out Vitra anyway. Cause it's not too often you can see you know, hang out with Vitra. He's usually hidden away. You don't generally get to look at him like this. I don't know which dragon design I like the best. Ashjaya is pretty good look, like pretty nice looking. Not good looking, but like overall. No way. I like dragons. And Vitra, I remember Vitra from Final Fantasy XI. Vitra was a purple dragon, lived underground. Alright, I'm happy. Okay. Okay. And uh, I remember actually beating Vitra in XI, and it was, a, it was a big thing back then. Because he wasn't an easy fight, because he lived in a room full of high-level uh, undead skeletons and stuff and he could summon more and it just sucked <laughs> quite literally because the skeleton sucked your life I think I like Ashdaya and I think I like Tiamat's design I think feature would be better if you didn't have the giant ass Did horn protruding with his forehead but a memoria but who's? Yep. Oh. I'll tell you whose it is in a moment. Give me a sec. Whose memoria is it? Who is that? Never mind. They're on fire and dead. Nobody important. Who is that? With those luscious locks. Nope. You 
have lied, pillaged, and murdered. Have you anything to I'm say pitched. in your defense? <laughs> no. Every one of them got what they deserved. Trust in fools. I actually like the armor that he's wearing. Like you would be heroes. Aye. You do well to keep a close eye on each other. It always ends the same way. A knife in the back. And better to have the handle towards your hand. You'll see. Oh, yes. You will. He's just like, should I do it? Swing. Somebody's headless. Never mind, it was body? Huh? Whatever. In death, may your soul find salvation. I can't bring myself to pray for the unrepentant. You're a nobler man than I. It's like Xenos, but less crazy, I guess. Come now, we are all shaped by these dark times more than we would care to admit. I choose to believe that, had these men known peace and plenty, they would not have been consumed by mistrust and avarice. Victims of the Contra Memoria, then. Like so many others. What is the Contra but Memoria? We will end it. I really need to Google that. Like, I kind of, like, it was kind of explained, but I feel like I, I lost it somewhere, like, what exactly it was. Oh, person. Thank you. I shudder to imagine what might have happened if you hadn't dealt with the Dark Ones. Who is that? Oh, it's Zero. Oh, her? She's like you, I hear. Hunts memoriates taken by darkness. Well, well. A kindred spirit. Perhaps we will finally have a new comrade. This first person view is interesting. Also, I feel like I recognize this area. I think this is the first. Well, I mean, it's the 13th, but it's the first uh, layout. No. I've no interest in working with others. Much less someone who looks as suspicious as you. Damn, girl. Is that so? If there's nothing else, I'll be on my way. I like her outfit. I want that outfit. Even when we share the same goal, we can't overcome the mistrust. Such is the way of things, the wisdom of our era. Yeah, that is totally like the, the backdrop from Lither the first. Only a precious few memoriates remain who cling to the light. Would that we could have won her over. We'll make do, old friend. We have accomplished much already. And another person may well have been more of a hindrance than help. Now then, our work here is finished. His Majesty has summoned us, so let us not delay. To Baron. That's a recognizable name. <laughs> hmm. Somebody's crystal. Had another vision of the past, did you? And I saw you, and you were a bitch. What? I was in it. It's them. The pair I met in that village. Which means the one sealed in this memoria is... Hello, Golbez. So, you have come. You, who would oppose our crusade. I'll fight you. Tranquil. Is 
If you hurt one, one scale on that dragon, I swear to God, I will run you through. And I will, I don't know, take you somewhere dangerous. Where is still dangerous in the world right now? So is this Durant? Listen, you have to kill Goba is extra hard for me. Understood. You. I know you. You leave your hands off Azdaya. I swear is to God. So, uh, hmm, from the world it is. Before, this guy's Durant. I dare say. This is Zenos, but less crazy looking. It is impressive enough that you have managed to retain your mortal form, but to remember your past besides. I take it you have a you have a hatred towards Skullbaz from the no other game. Moment. You are the memoria who vanquished my minions. Correct. With help. And what if I am? Then. I would bid you join me. Yeah, no. As a child of our world and slave to the wheel, fight with me. Understood. I will fuck him up twice as hard just for you. Our souls. Fight with you. More like fight as your pawn. You tell him. It isn't me you want, but my power. And if I don't obey, you'll bind me like you bound that dragon. But no more. I refuse to be bound ever again. I fight only for myself. <gasps> oh, we're her friends! I trust. My friends. I see. A pity. It is for the dragon that you have come, yes. Yes, and if you harm her, so help me God when if you harm her. You appeared, I thought simply to remove a threat to our plan. I will somehow Never summon Midgard Dormer. I imagine that you would reach this place and gift me a golden opportunity. Yes, do you think? As it has been imprisoned, this dragon has grown feeble. Oh, he wants Vitra! Its spirit extinguished. Your coming has served to rekindle her forgotten hope. Her yearning to be free, to return home. That is the key to I our swear to God, Azdaya better make it out alive. Wait. She's gonna get overtaken by the darkness. Because she's been so weak the for darkness her. is ravaging her. She's becoming a void scent. No! We didn't come all this way for her to get turned into a void scent! Rise, O oh Shadow Dragon, and obey. Yeah. You better hold still. Get beat the sh Oh. Hello. Keep our guests occupied. 
How dare you! So tall. Hi, Hajime. Before darkness swallowed the world, I fought tirelessly in a war without end. The experience taught me to discern the strong, that dragon, and you. Oh! Yes, let's go! I will fight you to the bitter end! Wait, is this a solo battle? No way, it's gotta be a trial. Come me. Rest assured, I'll deal with you, and then I'll free Ashadaya. <laughs> yeah, you don't even get the yeah, I'll deal with you, and then I'll fucking get Ashadaya back. Yeah, watch this, bitch! That is a trial. Do, do, do. <laughs> a cursed light. Do, do, do. You, who have ever basked in its warmth, could never understand our envy. That is not true. You don't know shit about me. You don't know what I've been through. You will not deny us our release. I will, if it means harming people I know. All right, um, unfortunately, we're gonna take a short little break here because I need to actually watch the, uh, all right, what I'm looking for. The Void Cast Dies. All right, hold on. <laughs> the Void Cast Dies. We're gonna quickly, we're gonna quickly watch the video for it. Good thing is, you can't hear what I'm watching. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm, just wa I'm watching the, the battle so I understand what attacks he can do.
Hi, Deadly. I've been recently back because my ISP no longer wants to uh, geolock me. I'm really far into the game, I'm not sure where you are. Hi, Queen! have to go buy stuff. <laughs> no. All right, let's go let's go upgrade my uh, my accessories that I didn't bother doing. I've cleared Endwalker. Oh. All right, you might be farther ahead than I am. Casualty. What is casualty for? Let's, uh, hold on. Let's. Let's, uh, let's go spend the casualty I have and get one thing there. Casualty is this side. I'm stuck on a wall. Alright, let's, uh, let's pass in my casualty shit. Uh, instead of a magic. I get my one. Oh, those are pretty. Hold on. Blech. That's a boop. <sighs> Let me view the earring. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's... Oh, I like that. Wait, what's the difference in the casting and the... Nothing? Nice. All right. What about the bracelets?
I think I might have my new bracelets to use from all my uh, glams for White Mage. And what is the ring? Look? Which ring finger did it go on? All right, those are nice. I like those. Let's get the uh, let's get the bracelets. That's done. What is that? Is that a bow? That is a bow. All right. Let's go buy stuff now. Just one last thing I have to buy. I knew, I, the other day I forgot to buy all the accessories because I was fine, but now we have to buy the accessories. I don't have a choice. But no, for the longest of time, uh, I guess I'll call you Scythe. <laughs> for the longest of time, I uh, couldn't play the game because I would have to VPN if I wanted to play and it just, it was too much trouble to stream it. So like if I played it, it was by myself off stream. We are probably gonna go server hopping here in a second. Oh, that's pretty too. Bro, I like these, what the hell? 89, all right, let me get a, hold up. Let me get a pen. Let me get a paper. I'm gonna drop a controller on the floor. <laughs> all right, earrings. The only reason I'm writing down the prices is because I know one of my servers on this uh, game has uh, has these much cheaper. And honestly, if I can save a hundred k buying all of them, we will. All right, we need two rings. Rings are 142k times two. All right. Universalis? No, I've never heard the. Hold on, Universalis. trying to find my server here. Uh, English, choose your time and zone. I guess I am soul. Where am I? UTC plus four, I think. UTC minus four? UTC plus nine. You know what's funny? The other day was I was complaining on stream the other day. I said I wish there was something like the FFX uh, FFXI auction house website. You know, Final Fantasy XI's auction house. <laughs> I was like, it would make this so much easier, so I didn't have to go to Malboro because that's a fucking cursed ass server. Like I I I went into the server and I got greeted by freaking Rogaigan butt in Subligar. Uh, not just one, like forty of them. I was like, oh, what is going on? Alright, let's... Cheapest is in Zalira, which seems to be the same price as my server, from the looks of it. Although Diablos is saying that it's 94... Oh, is it because of the fee? Alright, yeah. So, Zalira is only 5k cheaper than me on Diablos, so I'll just stay here for this one, because it's, I'm not moving servers for 5 gil, 5k gil. All right. Oh, man, this is getting saved in my hotbar. Thank you. I appreciate this. All right, earring. Necklace. Are you not called? Oh, you're a choker. I'm sorry. Wrong word. Choker. 
Uh, healing. All right. It's 110k. Goblin. Goblin has the cheapest. But I mean, like, I could, like, click around and see... Okay, Primal, Crystal... Ours isn't too bad. Alright, Crystal... Okay. Uh, and then we need earrings. Rings. Well, this makes this much easier. Cheapest is going to be Brunhilder. Right. Yeah, the rings on Brunhilder are 72k. They're uh, half the price of the ones on mine. I can buy two for the same price. I'd be paying for one on my server. Alright. Let's get to an Aetherite. As much as I want to live in Limsa Laminsa, we're going to go to Limsa Laminsa. <laughs> There's absolutely add-ons that will show you where it's cheapest across. But technically, the violation Come into my DMs and teach me the pirate ways. Alright, we're gonna Brunhilder first. But yeah, no, uh, Scythe, I, uh... So, we were looking for a game to play, me, Haru, and Shibu. And, uh, Final Fantasy XIV got brought up because it's easier for me to log in now that my ISP is not a bag of stinky doo-doo. <laughs> So we joked about playing it. So we're working on uh, we're working on leveling care. Oh, that's a nice staff. Hello. Yeah. Oh, it's a bunny rabbit. Shush, just listening. <laughs> Wait, what do you got? Dead hot. Oh, dead hot. Oh. Okay. All right, let's go. Uh, we're on Brunhilder, so we want the rings from here. Yeah, like, they're 142k on my server. Screw that. Give me this. Give me this. Actually, while we're here, how much is your necklace? More expensive. Actually, no, we won't. No, not the necklace. The necklace is more expensive here. Can I have the ring? Treat earrings. Alright, no. Alright, off to Goblin. Okay, next week on payday, I'll react when I can join you if I'm welcome. Uh, let me double check because, okay, you'd be you'd be welcome playing with me, uh, with Haru and Shibu though. That's kind of like our our th our collabby thing that we do where we try and kind of stay to ourselves. Somebody's ordering pizza. I want pizza. But you're if I'm playing, you're welcome to play with me. So far, so good. Now, cursed. Ooh, what are you? Oh, that's the dancer outfit. Give me pizza. Ugh, I want pizza. But anyway, thank you for the thank you for the auction house. It's funny because I googled Universalis and I came across some sketchy website to start with. <laughs> and I'm like, what is this? It's been a long time. It has been a long time. All right, we no, it's not the earring we need off server. It's the necklace. Okay. What the? Okay, one more server. Uh, earrings. We're just gonna buy the earrings off my home server because it's only like 5k more than the other server. But yes. Welcome on in, by the way, Goth Titty Gamer. <laughs> I just recently got back into the game uh, two weeks ago, I think. So, to those that don't know the story, I live in Korea, so I have to VPN. I had to VPN onto the North American servers to play my character, and it was a pain. 
because if anything happened where I disconnected midstream, I wasn't going to be able to play the game again because I'd have to disconnect my stream. Yay, we can fight Golbez. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go do our materia. I'm pretty certain it's down this way. <coughs> um, can I patch my materia back off this shit? Ah, but there's no point because it's lowered. Wait, hold on. I mean, we'll retrieve it anyway. Oh, my inventory is full. But yeah, it's been a pain to try and play this game because of the region lock, and I definitely have wanted to cry multiple times because I wanted to play the game that I kind of... Ah, you're the screen I made bigger. I was like, which window did I make giant? By accident, found you. One day we will go through my inventory. Uh, we will go through my retainers and like get rid of my shit. Uh, you, you were f no, you, you were full. I don't know what I need all this stuff for, so we're just gonna throw it over here and we'll deal with it later. So. But the other day, uh, when we talked about playing Final Fantasy XIV, I, uh, I decided to give it a try, and I decided to see if my ISP was going to be a big booty hole, and uh, they let me on the game without a VPN, so I got pretty excited. Ah! My materia. Ah! My other materia! How dare! <laughs> I really should be extracting materia so I don't have to pay the small amount. No, we don't want to desynth it. But yeah, the, on the weekends, I'll be playing uh, with Haru and Shibu. Also, please ignore what I'm going to meld. I should probably really look... Actually, I should probably really look into what White Mages meld, but I'm not a raider, so I don't think I really care. <laughs> FF4. I'm in the balance. Why don't I just go check there? Come here, Discord. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Where are you? There you are. The bright ass green icon. Alright, I am a white mage. White mage resources. Yeah, I'm just going to continue melding what I'm melding because I, uh... Do I not have any tens? Because that requires a whole other thought process there, and I'm not doing that on stream. Where is my touch? You're up here, and you have it struck hitch. Savage. There you are. Besides, Maria's materia is freaking cheap, so... Give me these. Look away if you're one of the min-maxers. I swear to God, I will eventually fix my gear, but... Not you. Wait, hold on. Your cap for... 
Oh. Alright then. I guess we will go crit hit for you then. <laughs> How about you? Can you take a debt? You can take a debt. Get on there. How about you? You cannot, but you can take a crit. How about you? You can also take a crit. And you! You can take a debt. You cannot, however, take another debt, so I guess you can have piety. Alright. Round two of queuing up for this dungeon. Ah, oh, but I want to be cool. Hold on. What was that? Oh, never mind. Not the cat. I want to go back to that spot. I think I need to go here. And then I have to teleport in from there. Chrono, Erebos, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the void. Wait, what weather? Is it snowing here? Moon dust. Ah, my eyeballs. I want to go back to the other moon. How do I go back? Wait, hold on. Can I just... Okay, so it is here. Because I'm gonna have to go back here anyway. Alright. Oh wait, are you floating up in the sky over there? It's so saturated. Wait, hold on. If I turn my... Alright, it's a bit less saturated. Oh my god, the difference. <laughs> Uh, yeah, alright. I think we're ready to queue up. Because I don't know if I can get back up to the sky cube, which is not clearly there. Uh, none of you are Golbez fights, are you? Make sure. No, okay. Oh, look! Oh, hello there, Vitra. You know, you could give us your eyeball. Alright. Just so we can get the cool music while we wait. Never mind, there is no... Okay, there we go. Alright. <laughs> He's so tall! I come up to his... Not even his kneecap! Where's Corny? a while. Maybe I should go do something else while I wait. I know what I can do. I can make food while I wait. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'd be down to play with these sites. I guess I'll read through the White Mage Guide since I've last played. Uh, Caviar, Canapas. Wait, what is the difference between... S oh, wait, they're slow and fast sets? See, like, this is all guides for, like, doing savage content, like, Omega Protocol and s Ultimate sets and stuff. I just want to know basics.
Okay, so I do want to, I do still want to put some piety into my materia slots. Okay, so I, I was right about that, because I remember reading that way back in the day. Because we run out of magic faster than most. Essence. Well, we ain't going to have best in slot for white mage, because I, uh, I don't raid. Sorry, I'm doing reading. I'm I'm doing my white mage research right now. It looks like I should be putting direct hit onto my gear, so Okay, I can I can rearrange that later. I did not know that. Hold on, what is that? A bit. I'm doing content that clearly isn't being done, but that's fine.
Well, we have the two healers. So, how is everyone doing today? Hopefully good. Alright. I don't mind waiting. This is fine. I guess we'll, uh... Guess we'll do this while we wait. Doing this would break the item. That's how old I am. Oh, you want you want to extract material from that spirit bonded 100% item? Yeah, goodbye item. I think. Maybe I should, you know what? Am I not in a voice call? Okay. I'm like, am I not in a voice call on Discord? Where's my little, where's my little TV? Uh, oh. I think my light in my kitchen's dying. It just kind of did a strobe light effect. All right. So, I'm gonna work on getting some food ready while we wait. I will eventually go do something else. It's just I figure I can make food while we're sitting here like uh, peasants waiting. But yeah, since I no longer have to worry about like getting region locked and stuff, we can actually play uh, Dawnwalker at the gate on stream. Although I don't think Yoshi P likes that, but we can try. All right. I need to toss this other controller. I have a PS4 controller that's sitting here that's broken. There. Stop that right there.
We might go do something else with our life while we wait for this cute pop. What can I do actually? I could level a crafter, I guess. Start my retainers. Actually, welcome back. We're gonna go do something else with our life while we wait for this queue. I'm in Aquarium. Seeing a hat. Can I sell? I can sell hat. Doesn't sell for much, but off you go, hat. And then I think I got some random uses of wool. We got a tier one aquarium. That doesn't sell for too bad. Take the hit on those. It's my fault for not playing. Making my food. Set that there. Down, down, da down. A long key wait I think it's gonna it's gonna go by like soon as like it's just gonna instantly fail at some point because it's what it did with the last one that I did or maybe people just don't like fighting this guy
Final day. What's the final day? Is that the Hades one? Oh no, that's the uh Oh oh that's that one. I like how this one just straight up says carry me. set to join party in progress. Maybe I'll get one that's kind of failing. <laughs> nice. Ooh, just almost dropped my goddamn rice on the floor. Okay, come here. We're having salmon, rice, and avocado. That'll be tonight's dinner. I didn't feel like cooking. I spent half my day cleaning. Still only two white mages, or two mages, two healers. All right, other healer, we got this. Let's just queue up, we'll, we'll duo it. <laughs> And not like I'm doing much anyway. Alright, if I was my knife, not the knife that I'm going to cut with, the knife I open shit with, where would I be? Did I put you over here? Average wait time, my booty! I feel like I'm queuing up for an IDV rank game. My knife. Okay. So, cutting board. We will eventually get it. Worst comes to worst, we'll rotate what we're doing and I'll go do other stuff like leveling. And we'll come back to it. glancing over. I'm over my kitchen right now as so I'm staring at like the screen from like across the room. I'm keeping an eye on it.
Dory says that key time was a lie. To be fair, I'm also midday on a North America, or mid morning, early morning. It's actually super early. It's 9 a.m. On a North American data center, midweek. We'll eventually get our key pop. Data centers, but I'm so appreciative of music that changes from day and night. And this is the night music. Salmon is cold because I just unfroze it. I keep looking up to see if anything else joined. <laughs> yeah, you know, he just did very good for himself for this uh, country that he made. See, well, his brother Needog was off, you know, waging war and murdering people. Needog made a whole fucking country, or er, Reacher made a whole country. On him. taking this long is kind of insane. Do, 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 do. 
it matters what server, like, data center I'm on for this shit. I wonder if I can, like, data center hop and get a better chance to get in a queue. Alright, let me do some research here. If I change servers, will I get a better chance at having this pop?
We're gonna change data centers. We're just gonna move locations first before I do it. We're gonna pick our booty up and we're gonna move to another data center. Alrighty, we are going to go to Aether. And we're going to go and live on... Hmm. We'll go to Midgard's Armor, just because it's not currently uh, stupidly full. <laughs> I looked at which data centers for North America were the most populated, and it looks like this one is. Alrighty. Let's get our freaking queue going here. So what I've done is I've told the servers I want to move. I live on Crystal. Please put me on Aether. So what this is doing is it's now giving me a different population of people to pull from with regards to uh, my duty finder. I should have been doing this, but I took the opportunity to go eat my food or make my food, so it's fine. Corny! Corny! We're ready! <laughs> Come watch! I'm recording it specifically for you, Corny. <laughs> Do I remember any of his moves? Night in black, gold fez, gold fez. Oh, you know, having the sage behind me pull out his weapons was cool. To destroy you, I shall bring my all to bear. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Come, warriors from beyond the rift. If you would oppose our crusade, then come. But know that none shall deny us salvation. This place shall be your tomb. I will free us from the wheel. No matter the 
foe, I will stay the course. Let lightning surge! your power. Come forth, my servant of shadow. With a bristle dark and hero blade, I bring my people liberation. Yeah, I think we'll just have to start utilizing the ability to change data centers, because I can still do all my shit on this data center. And I get a different group of people that's more populated. Shall know true terror. Eat my lily. <laughs> it did nothing because it just triggered my lily like three times. <laughs> He's just like, here's my high damage multi hit. Raging gale to rend you asunder. I think this was AoE. No, this one's three, four. Alright, so this one. Look 
My question that I had the entire time was, can I get shoved off the edge? The answer is yes. Yes, you can fall off the edge. <laughs> that wasn't uh, that wasn't even talked about in the fucking guide. <laughs> it's fine. It's dead. Everyone's already gone. I don't even get to. I don't even get to commentate anyone. Ain't so big now. I say as I die. <laughs> All right. Are you all right? Yep. Don't worry, I can stand toe to toe with the best of them. I just got unlucky and fell off the platform because I didn't realize I could. What are you doing? What's happening? At last, the moment is at hand. You may have bested me, but not quickly enough. Too late will you look to the chasm. You've won the battle, but I win the war. made manifest once abided in the depths of this abyss until uh, one day it dispersed in a haze of ether in the absence of the great flow that ether has nowhere to return and so it has coalesced giving rise to a mighty void scent now feast Feast upon this dragon and its ardent longing for home with it. Don't you dare! I swear to God. Fuck the 13th. I ain't saving it like the first. From 
from the convergence of ancient and newborn, an entity without equal shall emerge, one who shall tear down the barrier between worlds. Upon you, who shall deliver us from eternal damnation, I bestow the name of a hero of Eld. Seromus, awaken! I think we can still save her. No matter how powerful, a void scent can be sealed in memoria. scales may not hold not against a void scent born of zodiac's ether <sighs> we must retreat no we're not retreating what the fuck we just got here an ancient god using uh, Zodiac's power. We can't take on Zodiar Void Sense. I mean, we've we've killed Zodiac on his own. Anyway, let's go take uh, let's go get take care of Mariange. Wait, can I go in here? <laughs> nope. I like your dog. What do you mean, my dog? I have a dog.
The dragon? Oh, Vitra. Or the one that's following me. I was gonna say, because I do have a dog mount, but... All right, he's up top over here, I assume. No, he's down low. No, he's up top. Make up your mind, game. Is he up here or is he down there? So, about that. About our mission to the void. This is what happened. We get out of Razat Han. So let's go, let's go, off we go. At least I can do my quests while on a completely other server. Talking cutscene. Do you remember Chiriato and Farfarello? Die, the cowardly names. pair of void scent that dwelled in my domain. Chiriato devoured Farfarello. And in so doing, he inherited an all-consuming fear of Barbariccia. For as you know, when a void scent is devoured, it doesn't simply cease to be. Its soul persists within the devourer. And when a void scent dies, all the souls that harbored may break free to become individual entities once more. That is to say, by defeating Zeromus, we may yet save Ashdaya. And to make certain that we do, we must remind her of who she is. When the time comes, you must call to her. Call with all your being. Then it's settled. Our objective is to defeat Zeromus. While it is unsettling that a void scent could be born of Zodiac's ether, its very nature may render it susceptible to the brands that once contained him. Did Orianger have aught to say? Oh, hi, Death. I see. If the seal may not hold for long, then haste is paramount. Couldn't we just let it come to the source and strike it down here? I've been good. How have you been? 
Doing so would consign Ashdaya's soul to the Ethereal Sea. Any attempt to ensure her survival demands that we deal with Zeromus in the 13th. I don't really have to be this room is, Jesus. I could barely go near it. Never mind land a blow. So thick was the Shroud of Darkness. How do you propose we fight such a foe? Simple. Against impenetrable darkness, we must wield resplendent light. And it just so happens, there is a world replete with light. Oh, wait, we're going to use the first? Wait, how? The question of how we will harness that light, you may leave to me. With our recent discoveries and proven techniques, as well as the aid of comrades near and far, I have faith that we will find a way. What, are we gonna nuke it with a beam of light from the first? That's kinda cool. I'll begin my work at once. Rest up while you can, for there will be much to do when I return. I've been good, just download Devil May Cry, peak of combat on my phone, the registration launches in another 12 hours. Oh, nice. It wouldn't do to be idle while our esteemed sorceress labors tirelessly. I shall be training if you have need of me. Wait. Allow me to join you. I must become stronger for what lies ahead. <laughs> Fine by me. Come on then. I shall not pass my time okay. going in despair. Using my vessel, I shall attend what Too bad we can just summon more of our dragons. Like, can we not just go borrow his Valgers and Tiamat's eyes and take them with us and use them? Hi Lucifer! I don't think my mod's back at the moment, so I'll tap off and give you a shout out myself. There you go. Alright. Teeny tiny Vitra. We also need to do that event too here. Oh, what's this? The purple clashes with the brightness of the red. <laughs> Zeromus is risen, but not yet at full strength. It will take time before the fiend is able to breach the veil. But what is another moment on this long journey I have endured? It remains as fresh as if it were yesterday. Old friend, the memory of your passing. Oh, that was the helmet for that guy. Bane. So that wasn't even originally his helmet. As I promised you then, I promise you now, they shall sing of Golbez. The Wait, hero did he take the other dude's the name? Wheel and brought salvation to the world. Confused noises. Who's whom? I assume this would be at another stop in the quest, but since we're so far behind, it doesn't matter. Alright. 
Onwards we march. We're just gonna stay on Midgar Zormer, that way if I have to do any more uh, cues, it'll be quick. Apologies for the delay. What's in the box? There's a handle on it. Why not carry it by the handle? Okay, so the, the 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 gate up there, the the seal is currently Yeah. There the seal is going to fail soon. And this is where she goes, but alas, I have a solution. Come on, kick-ass music. Nope. Oh, there it is. We, yeah, that's what I thought. We take the first light and we smash it into the 13th. But there is something on the first that lets us do that. Can we use the tower? What's in the box? Something serious if it's under that much lock. What are those? Oh, those look like Alagon stuff. And so I consult the citizen who has the challenge for bespoke devices. Aether transmitters. These marvelous contraptions can be placed at locations of our choosing to facilitate the flow of Aether. In other words, we can use them to curate ethereal currents. But such things should be possible. We shall first direct Aether from Nebath Arang, where the flood of light was halted, into the Crystal Tower. We all know from personal experience the wonders of which it is capable. Wonders which suit our... I knew it! We're going to use the Crystal Tower in the first to blast the piss out of the 13th. <laughs> I should mention that the structure in the Azim Step, which the Algons built, should reject Aether as also a source of inspiration. Hi, Dusty! Okay, so that's what it looks like. I'm guessing she's doing this to sh What expansion is this? Uh, this is Endwalker near... We're getting close to the Dawn Trail. I missed what she just said there. And the transmitter shall guide the energy onto the 13th, like so. Oh, okay, yes, yes. <laughs> Spoiler alert, you don't want to be here. <laughs> this way, we shall have a lance of light which should pierce the shield of darkness. I'll leave it. Oh, thank you! 
Yeah, this is uh, this is like the this is post Endwalker. This is after the main Endwalker story. So I, I do suggest you uh, <laughs> yeah, spoilers. It would hardly be the first time that we played it by ear. <laughs> Yep, that's what I'm here for. Wait, I don't know if you can go to the first. Wait, no, maybe she can. She's a void son. I'd be okay with it. Actually, it's gonna be kind of cool that she gets to see the first. Oh, that's gonna make me so sad. <laughs> All right, off to the first. So we have to lay down a bunch of these. So we have to go to... Okay. So, alright. Um, hmm. So we're going to use the Crystal Tower to transfer Aether from the first to the third. This is going to be interesting. Alright. Normally nobody can come with me unless they're in a, a, a crystal. I've also included an upgrade tower, Chris. You've got hot tea. <laughs> no way! Now we get to go see Reen and everyone, I think. You want us to go see your lover boy too? Go forth, warrior of darkness, and make your triumphant return to the first. Ah, oh, yes, this music. I love this music. Damn it! <laughs> it was too short. <laughs> Bring it back. Alright, we need to move our booty to the Crystarium. Actually, yeah, no, Crystarium is the right place. Okay. Alright, we are on the Crystarium. Um, it is, oh, it is in this zone. Okay, so we need to go upstairs. Wait, what are you wearing? That's pretty. Sadly, it's probably crafters only. Okay. All right, so we're in, this is the Crystarium. We're on the first right now. It So 
where we've been fighting has been the 13th, which is the 13th planet, technically. We're now on the first. The first was originally all light. It was a flood of light, and people would turn into Sin Eaters from overabundance of light ether. And we brought it back, and it's now not thriving, but they're not dying either. So. Oh, wait, is it downstairs? Hold on. There it is. Oh, yeah, it's downstairs. He's midway. He's like, he's downstairs, but he's upstairs. He's up this stupid stairwell. Anyways, so we're on the, 13, uh, the first because the first, while it's still, it's been saved, it still has an overabundance of light aether. So we're going to use the light aether to save us from, from the darkness. All right. Is that you, Shinny? What brings you back to the rift? Or across the rift? Let me tell you our wonderful story. Honestly, first you asked me to extract a soul from a spirit vessel, and then you tell me you have designs to channel light to another reflection. Wicked white, Shinny, it's, it's nothing ever simple with you. <laughs> Oh, Reen! We're going to go see Reen! No, Rin. Rin? Reen? I forget. So, Rin uh, is basically... Oh, wow. There's another player down there. Um, it's been Philia reincarnated, but as her own, like, thing. So, she... Stuck on that. Is she in here? I think she's downstairs. Will Gaia be here too, I wonder? I don't see Gaia, I just see, I just see Rin. Oh, she'd be so happy to see us. This is also Thancred's daughter, air quotes. Restoring the elements to the empty may allow life to flourish there once more. But that isn't enough to return the environment to the way it was. No, we need to gradually reintroduce life, beginning with plants. But we've already done this part of the quest, unless... Not just any plants, though, but those that won't be a burden on a weakened land. Such as... <laughs> Coffee. If I recall correctly, it thrives in warm climates with cooler nights to promote growth. Yes. Yes, that might be suitable. And with a good harvest, we could set some aside for coffee biscuits. She hasn't clued in whose voice said it yet. Wait, there she goes. It's you! It seems you caught me rambling to myself. <laughs> How embarrassing. I've been studying botany, you see. Hoping that the knowledge would help our work in the empty. But never mind that for now. What brings you to the Crystarium? It was my understanding that the final days were behind us. Well, about that. Another, you know, world reflection has gone catastrophically cataclysmic, and we need help. <laughs> 
You wish to combat this otherworldly threat with the power of light? Please, let me help. So she's technically the avatar of light. Though I've lost my connection to Hydaelyn, I can still manipulate light to a degree. If there is a chance I could save others with that power, then I have to try. Also, I have her outfit because I love the boots. Oh, you have a body now, Zero. Tis done. Zero is now with us in the flesh. The spirit vessel I shall hold on to for operating the tower. This will help me to make sense of the controls, will it? There's a levity in his words that wasn't there before. Aww. It heartens me to know <laughs> well. So, Grahatia used to be the uh, he used to be the one that protected the them first. So they all hold him in high regards, and they're all so happy to know that he's doing well in his home world. My thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. That said, it is customary that my kind receive fitting payment for services rendered. Oh. Not unlike we void sent then. In that case, you may devour some of my ether. <laughs> Are you mad? I'll do no such thing. The very suggestion is absurd. Now, now, let's calm down. We all have our preferences, and I'm sure no offense was intended. She's a voice, and she doesn't know. I shall attend to the tower now. The rest, I leave to you. <laughs> Zero, was it? My name is Reen. It's a pleasure to meet you. This world isn't what I expected. While light is indeed strong here, it's not pervasive or overwhelming. Everything looks much as it does in the source. We have the Warrior of Darkness to thank for that. If you're interested, I would be glad to show you around. Okay. Oh good, it's just a, it's just a quick... This is this, this is that. And there's the wonder. The Allegan. Just an ordinary sky. Ordinary and beautiful. You know, we could make the 13th like this, possibly. To think that after so much loss, they could reclaim this. Growing light. You can't see it, it's behind me. <laughs> there. The good thing about coming in after all of the quests are done, well, it does make my queues longer on my shitty server. <laughs> it also means I'm gonna wait between stories, so. All right. Oh yeah, 
that boy did an effort ravage me. He almost died. Welcome back, Deadly. I need dragon flute. Uh, let's see. Tenacity, determination, skill speed. I guess it'll be... This one. Green has been added to the unending codex. Oh, because it's kind of like the Tower of Babel. Zero's grown so much. Ah. So we gotta go around and tell everyone that we're gonna use the tower and to not feel scared. Okay. Oh, ten news is the mayor. Yeah, no, we should probably go let them know that we're not going to do anything about it. But I mean, it's China's. He should be news. Uh... Yeah, I mean, if I'm there, they'll they'll be okay with it. Probably, yeah, or Atika Greatwood. Wait, we don't get to go there? I wanted to go to Nabatharong.
That's why I shouldn't ask about Grahatia. Alright, off to Yulmore. So that means, do I, have to, do I have to go up to the, uh... Do I have to go up to get the flying platform? Because they pointed out that, uh, she can't fly, she can't teleport. That's what I know here. Now I don't want to skip what cutscene? <laughs> Alright, we need to... Oh, you are just sending me to Yulmore. Or you're not? You know, we're gonna we're gonna go to I'm just gonna fly there. I, I know I can teleport in the Yulmore, but it's been a while since I've been on the first. And it's raining. It's all like yes, let's go, and it'd be fun and Hi, Soul! It's like, let's go and view stuff and have fun with scenery. But no, it's raining! What the fuck? I was all like, yes, beautiful scenery. Piss pouring rain. Where are you, Chinese? There he is. <gasps> Dulia! Best NPC ever. Oh, you're so cute. I've missed you. Surely, surely not. Well, about that. So we're going to use the crystal tower to beam Light Aether over to the 13th. To obliterate a being. You know, <laughs> it's because we, it's because of the first with the, er, the source, because of, uh, Garland. So happy to be back on the first. <laughs> All right. 
they're going to tell people what we need. One's over here. Oh, wait, zero's over here. Oh, oh, it's going to be a walking one. You've met Thancred too? Oh right, of course you have. Oh, she misses Thancred. Alright. The honeybee? Is that where I'm going? Da, 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 da. That's one. All right, we need to go downstairs. It's on this floor. There it is. Come here. So, let me tell you about my world. Eventually get that one. Alright. Up is there? Somewhere over here. Wait, was there one upstairs? No. Okay, there's one there. Okay, there's only two, okay.
Oh, they're so happy to see her again. All right, that's done. Okay, so now we go back upstairs. We're just gonna teleport upstairs. It's only 100 gold. We're fine. Okay, so now we go over to talk to Chai again. And then we're gonna have a giant cutscene of him talking to the citizens and telling them everyone that, you know, we're not gonna nuke them with the statue. Do we get to hear her voice? It's also no longer raining out. Yeah, pretty disgusting. Yeah, you don't really know how many of her she's has died. Yeah, everyone's resilient if you've noticed both the source and and the first. I think she's like Reen. Okay. Oh, we don't actually get a cutscene of them talking to the citizens? <gasps> We're going to Lahi! Lahi! Yes, let's go! Yes, don't watch. Spoilers. Get out. No, I am like really far ahead of you, so you, you should probably actually like close the stream. Sorry. Sorry, soul. <laughs> uh, 
It's the meme song! Sorry, I've just... It's been a while since so I you know, go listen to music. Alright, back in we go. Runar! I mean, all she has to do is mention you stole it. I'm sure he'll he'll listen. <laughs> there it is. I mean, I can, I see this both ways from his side. I can be like, he could probably agree with it because yeah, get rid of the light. <laughs> Her visiting the first, I think, has actually been really helpful.
Alright. Pretty certain it's this room. She just asks, like, why do you continue, even though you have, you have darkness again? I'm surprised Zero hasn't commented, like, why are we the Warrior of Darkness? But then again... I wanted to save the 13th. Rather, we're gonna head over to Rong. Nice. the dude, the miner. Oh, <laughs> tell Master Matoya that she is forever within our hearts. Aww. Alright, we gotta go with two. I'm a wrong. Twine. I'm liking that it's all quests on the first because it's just, it's nice to tie this place back into the storyline. How can they not? <laughs> Wait, oh. Oh shit, more people!
Alright. of the time when darkness consumed the 13th. Just the cold and the emptiness. Zero? Are you all right? I... I'm fine. I'm kind of sad guy I didn't show You're up. You're the one who stopped this. No. Oh, no, no. That was the first Oracle of Light, Minthilia. She's since left us, but I inherited her power and legacy. I see. Let's get started then, shall we? Okay. I wonder if that'll ever go away. The transmitters are set. Whenever you're ready. Oh shit! It's just like a long line from Such here to the radiant light. From here to the, the, the it's tower. Too much for one steeped in darkness like me. <gasps> Whatever may have happened in the past, you're still here, Zero, alive. What you couldn't do yesterday, you might still do today. If this power were mine to wield... I'm just like in the distance. Like She's taken light into herself. Her body struggles to contain it. She needs help. Why would you do that? I mean, I understand, but... <sighs> Thank goodness! How do you feel? Better now, I think. Then you're very, very lucky. Whatever possessed you to do that? I had to know if I could command the light. 
If I could change my fate. Once, I would never have dared to dream it. But your friendship and your trust has helped me to see new possibilities in myself and everything else. Perhaps that's why, when I beheld this world once damned yet saved, I saw the potential for mine to be saved as well. We'll save it. Do not worry. To become a world where light and darkness are in harmony and life flourishes. A world where we're not consumed by insatiable hunger, but filled with hope for what we might create together. So did she manage to take the light? I'm confused. If I had the strength, perhaps I could make such a dream reality. Perhaps I could awaken us from this endless nightmare. That's what possessed me. If that's your heartfelt desire, then you mustn't be afraid to share it. There was a time when I lacked the courage. To voice my desires was to burden those I love. Or so I convinced myself. But then I met those who believed in me. They helped me to believe in myself. And find the strength to live. And so long as I'm alive, I know that I'll be fine. No matter how dire things seem. The fact this isn't even like no a, matter where a main, I am, like it's not like the main expansion quest. This is like the at the end of the expansion. And, a blessing I owe entirely and I'm enjoying to it my friends. a lot. Those who believe in us. Yeah, your your city, your little hovel, your village, your. I will remember your words. I know all too well that there's a limit to what we can achieve alone. Yep. As a friend, I'd like to help you fulfill your dream. If you wish to take in more light, I can keep the power in check and help your body accept it. Oh shit! So it would seem. Right then. I'm counting on you. Here I go. Warmth swelling within me. Uh -huh. <laughs> then I believe it worked. With this power, I will return to the void and fight for the world that once was and for those I hold dear. So we're not only sending the power over via the tower, we're also sending a supercharged zero over. Also, how far do those little poles go? Are we sending them all the way across the storefront? Quite a distance. Okay, alright. Right. I'm 
green. Alright, we gotta head to the ocular. So it's just basically straight ahead. Alright. Green looks sad. You know what we gotta do? We'll summon the baby Reen. We'll swap Midgar's armor off for now. Actually, uh, I might bring Midgar's armor back later, but for now we'll bring Reen. The ocular. It's been a while since I was there. Stairs. It's the source and the shards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The source being this one right here, and then the shards. We are this one right here, and this one is the one that's currently imploding. I don't know what all the lines mean though. To the source we go. Mega Duda. Sends his or Runar sends his regards. What are you wearing? Oh, that's like what I'm kind of wearing, but like for Paladin. That's a nice body piece. Time to nuke the 13th with fucking unending light. Let's go. <laughs> In a way to save them, of course. I'm not trying to be mean to them. All right.
I don't lag. Not on, I mean, not on 14. My model's lagging, but I'm not. Darkness has been utterly relentless. Now I see like I might not I care it. Stake fast and hard because you won't get another chance. Cutscene? Cutscene? Bring another dragon with him. Bring another dragon. No. is in readiness without further ado then light from beyond the rift shine forth and banish the darkness <gasps> excellent the tower is replete with light from the bath arang Commencing transmission. We're going to see like the coolest cutscene.
light illuminate your way. You can do it, Zero. I believe in you. Holy shit! <laughs> Let us waste no time and sally forth. Alas, I fear the breach may be too narrow for you, Vritra. For a blessing, I prepare my simulacrum for such an eventuality. Yeah, he's missing his eye! My true form shall stand guard here. While we explore the chasm. It is faint, but I sense the presence of a dragon. No doubt my sister's essence. To be fair, I was kind of expecting more of a nuke, but I'll take this. Not where she was held captive before, but somewhere much deeper. The descent will not be so easy this time. swarms with void scent. Summoned by Golbez, perhaps, or born of the residual darkness. I like how there's just like light particles floating around. <laughs> However they came to be, we shall cut a path through them. Ah, uh, do I do this Is with a party ready? or do I do this with uh, the NPCs? Normally I do stuff first time with NPCs. I think I'll do it with the NPCs, just because. Because I think it's the last dungeon before the trial. Zero. That light should shine in the void once more. No single one of us could have made it so. Only by joining hands were we able to kindle this light. Do you see, Golbez? We needn't damn others to save ourselves. Aww. You knew this once, surely, when you tried to befriend me. When you were one of the precious few left willing to trust in another. <laughs> I like how much Zero has grown. But that man is gone. And in his place... A mockery <gasps> of beliefs. Wait, what? It's the same as before. Though we walk different paths, we, we seek the same destination. Wait. And yet... Oh. There is something I must know. A truth that lies waiting in the dark. Yeah, we'll do it with the, uh, we'll do it with the trust first. Because, uh, 99% chance the Zeromas fight's gonna be a trial, and I can't do that with the trusts, so I will do the dungeon with the trusts. So we should be getting, uh, unlock here in a second. No, we're good. Alright. 
be honest, I would try for the issue is how much of content there is as well since I had not played as often. I'd lose many things since learning from you. Things expire. Uh, no, 14 is pretty. 14 is... 14 is very newbie friendly. Like, you could play it and it wouldn't matter. Like, the only thing this expires is, like, just the time-limited events. But, like, the, that's very rare. We're not talking Genshin or Honkai Star Rail here. But, like, the time-limited events are just, like... Valentine's, Halloween, maybe a crossover here and there, which aren't really important. Like every, all the major content is not gated and will not expire. And they've set up Final Fantasy XIV in a way that new people can still get their content done and they've also made it even easier now because so I got stuck I had to do the gold best fight and I was sitting on my server my data center so I'm Diablo's data center's crystal and we went like 25 minutes of waiting and then we went 35 minutes of waiting and my queue my time my pop it wouldn't happen I couldn't get into the fight because nobody was queuing up so I said fuck it we logged out, we went back to the character, my character select screen, and I sent my character, I flipped it over. We're now on the Aether data center, sitting on Midgar's Armor, which is a different data center, because there's different data centers, and each data center has like seven to ten servers on it, unless it's a new one. So all I did was I went to, uh, there's a website called A Realm Reborn, it tracks uh, the statuses of the servers. And I just said, all right, Aether's got literally almost all of its data center, or all of its servers in it are locked down and that you can't make new characters. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to flick myself over to Aether. I logged on to Aether with my character, and uh, I got a Q pop in three minutes. So no matter what, you will get content done. They still do the monthly me Yeah, unfortunately, it is still monthly membership. But you can play for free for a while if you don't know if you want the game or not you can download the trial for final fantasy 14 it's a free to play trial you get all of a realm reborn which is the base game you get heaven's ward which is the first downloadable content you get storm blood which is the second downloadable content and i believe when dawn trail i think I think you might get Shadowbringers at this point, too. Hold on a second. <laughs> Let us find out what you all get right now. Alright, you get... I'm looking for it. Hold on. All right. Right now, you get you still get a Realm Reborn, Heaven's Ward, and Stormblood, which is content that will take you up to level seventy. Uh, I believe once. I believe once Dawn Trail comes out, the free trial will get updated and you'll probably get M Walker for free. There, I will admit, Final Fantasy XIV is probably one of the better games that lets you play a free trial. There is obviously some downsides. You can't do certain things with the trial to make sure that guild sellers do not, like, abuse it. But, I mean, if you're not sure if you want to play the game or not, get the trial. You can do it for free. And you can play a lot of fucking content for... Actually, I can show you. Let me show you how much content you get for free with the trial. Alright, so here is the... This is the journal right here. We're gonna click complete. So, for the trial, for free, you get... All of this, all of these quests right here that you can see on my screen right now. And you get... All of these quests. And you get all of these quests. And you get all of these quests. And you get all of these quests. And all of these quests. And I'm assuming you probably also get all of these quests too. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven 
I'm assuming you get post storm blood, but you get like seven tabs worth of quests right here. Not including all like your like other stuff that comes in between everything, but you get a lot. You get a lot of content for free. It's kind of a low amount of quests. No, it. Girl, <laughs> I will slap you. All right, we're gonna go with the NPCs. Sadly, Yastola is not coming with us. Okay, we're gonna go in with these guys. So, this dungeon's gonna roll at a little bit slower pace because I'm using the NPC trust. Oh, kind of funky in here. The Lunar Subterrain. So a lot of the uh, dungeons like this, especially all the newer content, they're reworking the lower the lower content to allow this, but a lot of the newer stuff that came out allows you to play with the uh, NPCs, the party NPCs that you mostly do the quests with. And it doesn't matter what job you are, because some of them will fill two roles. So I'm a white mage, so I, have a, I brought a tank and two GPS with me. Hi, hi, trash bag. I'm doing pretty good. Got you. So the downside with doing this with the NPCs, though, is it will be much slower. Uh, once you go into a dungeon, you are locked into that specific class that you're playing as. Out of my way. But if you're talking about can you change classes during the game, yes, you can. You can play any class you want. All of these jobs here, you can change between them, just not when you're in a dungeon. Your character can be any class you want them to be, between uh, between the actual, like, the combat classes or the uh, the crafter classes. You can have every class on your one character to 90, uh, level 90. hitting a lot more now. I know, I know, sorry. Yeah, it, it is a subscription base. I do apologize. But that's why I said if you didn't want to play and you've never played before, just get the trial. Play through the trial for a bit. I do pay monthly for it. 
You forced my hand. Trial shouldn't be that. Trial should be free. I'll get to the link. Hold on. No. Okay. First. First. First rule of thumb: Do not get it through. Do not get it through Steam. Do not get Final Fantasy XIV through Steam. It's just, it's, it's a lot harder to update through Steam. And there's just extra, there's extra steps in the way. Just go there. It's just, it's, I would have to Reddit it for you, but generally you don't want to go through Steam. It's just much more of a hassle. It's easier to just get it from the official website. That way it's not, uh, that way it's not tied to a Steam account. Also, sometimes, uh, because it's a different platform, generally, uh, Square Enix has better sales on the games than Steam does sometimes. Also, because it's a second, it's another step into logging into the game. If anything happens to Steam, you can't play Final Fantasy. So, like during the Steam sales and stuff, if the, if Steam is getting hammered or DDoS, you can't get into the game because you need Steam to launch first. Or if you have issues with Steam just not wanting to launch in period, you're not gonna be able to play the game. It's just there's just extra steps, so it's just recommended to just not get it on Steam. The 
Apologies. Uh, I would read chat more, but I'm uh, trying to make sure I don't die here. understand it now. Alright, I think I understand that, the staffs now. So, what I saw was one staff here, one staff here, and one staff here. So they go this batch, this one went this and that, and this one went here and here. So this one, so basically this one filled up this row and this row. This one filled up this. So basically where the staffs go, they do a line. They do a line. So, all right, that makes sense. Don't worry, I'm in the middle of trying to make a new account. I'm trying to deal with their stupid passwords. Have fun. Don't feel you have to play with me, by the way. I'm just doing this because it's something that's not Final Fan, or not IDV, and I'm enjoying it. And now the capital. Nothing is exempt from their avarice.
king and country. Out of my way. Go, go, Varshawn. Go, go. Wait, who's there? Oh, that's... They knew we were elsewhere. Cowards. That's a baby, bro. Enough. Get to fight the rest of these up here too. No. In we go! What the fuck this is that? Is dangerous. That crab? No, it's an ant. Interesting ant line. Alright, whatever. Yo.
Oh, sh ow. Oh, hey! Pillars can fall on me. Did not know that. Alright, I get it now. When he dashes around, he has a chance to hit the pillars. Not just a chance, he will hit the pillars. I should have stayed in the shit zone. <laughs> I should have stayed in the shit zone. This is why we play with NPCs. Stuck on a box. I stand here, how far is this pull me? Midway, okay.
Round two. Stand in the shitty crap, because that kind of keeps me alive better than getting hit by a goddamn pillar. to lose. More food here soon. Kill this. 
pretty destroyed castle. I expect one of those giant pillars. If we split up. Turned into monsters. Yes, yes, they have. Oh, those are different. New, those are new succubus. All right, let's see how fast we can kill them. the black guard. No, I want the vampire. The thing in the back. The one that can nuke us because it moves us. Jeez, that's nearly you've got thing for 20k with the size. Golbez and Durant? Well, it's Durant. And some dude. So was the original Golbez killed, and then Durant took on his name? This can't be happening. Not to you. My friend. My hero. I will stop you even should it cost me my life. Okay. 
Okay, he looks kind of cool. Memoriat Durant. I don't know who you are. I feel like I should care. is full of nasty. Don't touch the edge. Alright, so that's just AoE. On its, uh, area AoE. I'm not bored, I'm just focused, I'm sorry. I don't think I was in that. Not the one that dropped on me, but the, the bubbly ones around the thing. Oh, what a run. The battery, I didn't think I was in it. I was standing on the NPCs. Guess the game just thought I was standing in it.
beast. I will fight you with all my strength. No mercy. Ether, to fortify my blade. I'm not talking much again focusing because I'm trying to I haven't That's far enough. I didn't research anything so I'm trying to just learn things as I go on this fight Wait, no, 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 it's this one. No, no, stand on me! You're mine! Oh, 
hej jeszcze ona. done no I was looking at the uh, the armor I got <sighs> considering it's my character I wouldn't be looking at my booty Is this golden? <laughs> okay, no. All right. Okay, so Dur Golbez is dead. Durant took his name. Okay, now I get it. to kill his friend. Big ass helmet. You will never die. This I swear. Through me, your name shall live on as the hero who saves the world. Put us back. 
back at him. We've been released from the memory, twould seem. If Golbez was the one sealed in this memoria, then the one we've been fighting is... Durant. No more than an imposter playing at hero. Durante, I presume. Oh, it's it, oh, it's Durante. Let's see. My bad. A name long since lost to time. History shall remember only Golbez. Come what may, I shall deliver the world its salvation, and I will not suffer you to interfere. You seek to free all souls from the purgatory of undeath. And to that end, you would invade another world. While I cannot condone your methods, I understand your motive full well. Okay. For I'm driven by the same. I too wish Just to save, save our, our world. world. I too once thought I had to bear the burden by myself. That I had no choice but to walk my path alone. But I was... Okay. If you possessed power which transcended that of Zeromus, then perhaps I would. But you do not. No, you are but another Voitsant like me. And what is a candle before the sun? Perhaps we aren't all powerful. ...and cannot effect great change in an instant. Even so... Great change is what we need. Aught less has no meaning. Having glimpsed our past, you should understand as well as any. As Golbez, I dedicated myself to ending the Contra Memoria. I fought the corrupted Hi, Memorias and attempted to redeem those twisted by their power. Yet try as I might, I was powerless to make any meaningful change. Oh, it's an Asian. It was then, when oh. I was floundering in despair. That she appeared. The Asian Igeom. And thus we all are shocked. Claiming to know how to excise the source of our woes, she showed me to the moon, where the servant of light abided. Twas he and his ilk who had granted men unnatural powers, she said. And now prolonged the war. Wait, did you do something to the moon that caused the flood of darkness? Believing her every the word, watcher. I struck him down. And caused darkness to engulf. 
You killed the Watcher on the moon and caused all this, didn't you? What? Then it was you who... As Emmett Selk once told us, the 13th was the Asians' first attempt at a rejoining. Before they fully understood the mechanisms at play. They failed because they sought only to awaken the Sundered Zodiac without instigating a calamity in the Source. The darkness they unleashed had nowhere else to go. Having left a ruin of our world, the Asian fled. I was a fool to trust them, to trust in others. Yeah, you're kind of dumb doing that. Since that day, I have sought the means to undo my mistake. The world may be beyond saving, but I would at least restore the great flow. The dragon was an extraordinary windfall, a veritable font of ether that expedited my endeavors time and again. But it wasn't enough to achieve my objective. Far from it. For an eternity, I had to bide my time. But the day finally came when I acquired the power I sought. I, the remnants of the Asians god sealed within the moon, suddenly dispersed into ether. With that ether, Zeromus could be conceived. And driven by the dragon's longing for home, it shall soon arise to destroy the barrier between worlds. Wow, Vitra looks really pissed. Thus will the way open to the promised land and the death we have been too long denied. Thus will I, Golbez, bring salvation to all. You're kind of kooky. So that is all you have left. Say what you will. You cannot stop Zeromus's awakening. No, we'll just beat him up. Going after him, aren't we? Yeah. Aye. That's why we came, after all. And besides... When someone believes in you, it makes you want to believe in them. In others and yourself. Eulis was right about that. Yep, yep, we'll go kick Golbez's butt, or Zeromus's butt, somebody's butt. Okay, butt! That's what we're gonna do. Just butt. Butt kicking. Butts. Alright. We're going to the bathroom. I'll brave the dark after I pee. <laughs> I'll be right back.
I have returned. Let us brave the darkness. hoped to bear witness to the moment our salvation is realized. But nothing must be left to chance. I will stop you here, no matter the cost. Oh, is it a trial between me and... I'm just standing in the back. And so but I'm the support. you to this place where the advantage is mine. Live? Impossible. Scarmiglione and Barbariccia were sealed in memoria, while Cagnazzo and Rubicante died in the source. You're not wrong. They are not the true archfiends, but shades born of their residual ether. If they are shades, then their strength will pale in comparison. Even should they fight as one, we may yet prevail. Coffee, but it's kind of late. <laughs> we'll tend to the arch fiends. Go and put an end to Zeromus. <laughs> Golbez, like, did you Give forget no about me? Thing. Use your light, shatter his shield. Oh, fuck it, <laughs> in the hole I go. Zeromus will awaken, and it shall devour any Except who you don't come know who I am. it I'm and its desire. I'm technically an Asian. <laughs> Your companion is it's no exception. Well, do you know who I am? I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> Time and again, she has faced insurmountable odds. Oh, shit! <laughs> but no matter how hopeless things seemed, she's never given up the fight. So 
long as she has strength of will to forge on, then so too shall we. Oh, these guys are so cool. Estenia just fucking murdered two of them. And she believes in us. And together, our light can pierce blackest darkness. Wait, are you gonna finally use the light you absorbed? Estaya? That's disgusting. What the fuck is this? All right, well, now we gotta go watch another freaking trial. All right, hold on a sec. Let me YouTube this trial real quick. <laughs> yes, you listen to the music while I YouTube it.
Alright, I guess we'll watch this one. fun oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy I'm probably gonna get I'm gonna it's gonna be like no your gear's not high enough no I, I have to be high enough Any other things I just watched? Absolutely not. I'm sure we'll be fine. I thought I just summoned these fuckers up from nowhere. Like, yep, across worlds, come. We got shit to fuck up. Let's go.
that debuff on me is not good. Alright, this is fine. We're still doing okay. you can fall off the edge.
Upsetty spaghetti. Music change. He's hitting. Okay, we're good. I didn't fall off the ring this time because I watched somebody else do it and realized you could. I can fight him again. Hey, look, it's our rift. Oh, shit, he almost made it through. I think we're almost done, because that's are almost dead now. So I think we're almost done this quest line, which means we can start the uh, the the god one afterwards. All right, I'll beat you down again. Hold on. Void scent. Zeromas cannot be killed. Sealing it in memoria is the only way. Why now? Why must I get a vision now? <laughs> Oh. Wasn't it like three seconds ago that this happened? Uh, 
that it should come to this. I failed my dear friend. Fell for the Asian's ploy and unleashed the darkness. Seems to be a recurring theme of people. Follow the Asians. And after an Fuck eternity of waiting, I find myself on my knees. How disappointed must you be in me, in the foolishness and futility of it all? No, I will not let it be for naught. I will not allow you to pass. I will triumph in my crusade. Oopsie. Sorry. <laughs> there is no triumph to be found in this madness. Even if the veil were to be unraveled, it would not undo what darkness has done to the world. Nor would it bring Golbez back. From his slumber, you know there is no return. You're weak and imperfect. You know it in your heart. In spite of this, do you truly believe that you can save everyone? Are you sure you will not fail? I'm no better. Weak and imperfect and plagued by doubt. Which is why I need friends to walk beside me. Light, <laughs> but how? This is proof that I believe in others, and they in turn believe in me. A light that illuminates the way in darkest despair. Be it in a ruined city locked in ice, or a world drowning in light, it was with faith in one another that life endured. I see it clearly now. You think we are capable of the same? It won't be easy. Having lived too long as Void Scent, we've forgotten how to trust. But one thing is certain. If Seromus succeeds and everyone dies, we'll never have the chance to try. I like the story You so asked far. me to join hands with you once, and I refused. I cannot take back that mistake. But I can extend to you the same offer. We can be better than we have been. Of course, you were the memoriat we met all those years ago. He forgot. <laughs> I thought he kind of realized it. <laughs> yes, I remember now. We hoped he would join us in our quest to end the Contra Memoria. But you rejected us outright. It left both of us discouraged. 
Golbez most of all. If we could but overcome the fear that has shaped and divided us, we could change everything. Even in the midst of that terrible war, he never stopped believing in others. I'll have to ask Black Rose. Not even later. at the end. You're Golbez now. If you would live up to his name, then you must trust in people as he did. Yeah, you took his name and his helmet and his gear. You might as well, you know, you, you gotta be him. Them, them's the rules. I cannot forgive what you have done to my sister, but she may yet be saved. If you can help us see her safely home and protect the source, then. As Zero's friends, we should gladly share what knowledge we have to help you restore the void. You truly believe the world of old can be ours again? I do. So long as we work together. I feel like the 13th might show up again later on, unless, I don't know, I'll have to see, we'll have to go to the end of the storyline to find out. Alright, now that I'm done traveling back in time, sorry guys, had to space out for a moment due to the echo. Aromas' essence once more. The instant we do, you must call to Ashdaya. Understood. Hi, Lumi! was a flood of darkness. I feel like the light she absorbed in her though was gonna help her. What if she changed from a darkness into a paladin? <laughs> That'd be kind of the funny. Suffocating darkness. Like that of the rift. Impenetrable. Disorienting. Untethered. And drifting further away. Be strong, Zero. Don't give up. Hold fast to yourself. Look to the light within. Your place isn't alone in the dark, Zero. Not anymore. Zero. She's all grown up. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Are you all right, Zero? No. Can you can do it, Zero? <laughs> of course. Wait, is she about to make a blade of light on that thing? With this power from beyond the rift, I can do it. I can save everyone. Oh shit! How much light did she absorb? <gasps> oh, she changed! She is a- <gasps> She is a paladin! What?! I was joking! Corbez, if you would make amends, then lend me your strength. Bruh! <laughs> Mind you, I like Reaper Zero too, but like, yo! Zeromus makes to resurrect. Not if I have anything to say about it. No more, fiend! You're safe now, Ashdaya. You're safe. But what of her body? To my sister, I shall offer up the eye in this vessel. We dragons bring forth progeny with our very life force. That which my eye harbors should be enough to grant her corporeal form. Of course, this means I shall no longer have control over this vessel. I must ask you escort Ajdaya to the surface in my stead. <laughs> we came to bring her home, and we'll do just that. You have my word. Thank you. So does she no longer have a body? At long last, we shall be together again. Or are we is he giving her back?
Where are you going? Where are you going? Our world may yet be restored. I thought it an impossible dream once, but having witnessed your miracles, I cannot help but believe. Nevertheless, I am the villain who wrought this tragedy. Oh, shut up. And you know how many villains we've gone against that have literally, crusade, like, massacred thousands? Like, look at him himself. He's like, he is a genocidal maniac, and we all still my revere him. Place is not at your and side. want to bang him. <sighs> Nero. Regardless of how you may feel. Gaius. By lending me your they're strength, still alive. You've made and amends. they've done some pretty unspeakable shit. You've earned a new beginning. Yeah, listen to her. It's up to you what we become to one another. I want a baby as Jaya minion. Give me. It reminds me of the Dragoon Pets from Final Fantasy XI. What we couldn't do yesterday, we might still do today. Working together. And should we want for strength, we need only rally more like-minded souls to our cause. So let's take the first step. The two of us. Yay! He's so tiny! All right, what do you got for food here? I think we're buying. We're getting spicy stellar stew. I think spells me vitality. Actually, no. We're gonna go with baked eggplant. You may now enter the lunar subterranean with a party. Oh, that's just telling me that I can go into that place over there. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I looked up. Freaking quest marker way in the fuck. Look at how high it is! Good lord! cannot well express my relief that we could rescue my sister, nor my gratitude to all of you. 
What of him, Gomez? He felt it would be inappropriate for him to be present at your reunion with Ashdaya, and chose to remain down in the chasm. If you wish to hear an apology, however, I should be glad to drag him here. Nay, that shall not be necessary. By his deeds hath he demonstrated his contrition. So, what will you do now? I've learned much, journeying together with you. Experienced things I could never have experienced alone. Together with Golbez, I hope to do the same as we labor to restore the 13th. Then I suppose it's farewell for now. Be sure to share with Golbez what you've learned of the source and its reflections, as well as the true nature of light and dark. He is as resourceful as he is determined, and will surely make the very most of the insights. Indeed. Once we've gained a better understanding of the situation, I hope we can rely on your counsel. But of course, I too shall continue probing new possibilities, the better to be of aid when the time comes. Ah, speaking of which... Oh, is she doing her silly little summon? From ocean rise and cloud bank form, from mountain spring and rainfall storm, from river flow and life be born. Come forth, my servant. I revised the incantation, which is not to say you know how it went before. Eh. Are we clear? Eh. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> That's a death stare. Nidana provided me with spare warding scales, which apparently provide greater protection than before. This should keep the familiar safe. So long as you give the Nixie ether from time to time, it will persist and serve as a beacon for us to find you. Already we find ourselves with a new ally. Thank you. When you have the chance, Please thank everyone for me. Those in Razatan, Garlemald, Charlien. The first and on the moon. A lengthy list. <laughs> I'll be fine. I want to go back to the first anyway. A gift for Reen. In return for the light she helped me harness. It's the Memoria holding Zeromus. If used to augment darkness in the first, it may help to create balance between our worlds. Oh! An excellent idea. Similarly, why not entrust the Archfiend's Memoria to Zero? In that case, I shall pass them on to Golbez, 
to inspire and admonish him in equal measure. Apparently I've just been collecting the crystals, so here you go. Two of mine for one of yours. You will, I'm sure. Just don't try to forcibly summon me. <laughs> I won't come. No matter where we are, or how much time passes. So we're gonna leave the void gate open on the moon? This I believe. I mean, it can make sense, because then we can use it to get back to the 13th, but I feel like it might be a liability. <sighs> Tired. Me like, wait, accept it. All right. Mitra. He's got a point there. This whole quest line started for treasure. I will be able to get a bigger body though. <laughs> okay, so we are going to close the gate. Okay.
So, I fought a god. How are you guys doing? Actually, is Aramis a god? God of the Void Sench? I don't know. I fought a Void Sench. Who's mixed with some god? Oh, it's you again. Is everything all right? So you were able to rescue Ashdaya. Thank the Twelve. Kind of. She's kind of tiny, tiny now, right? But whatever. She's rescued. That's the main part. Channeling light from the first was rather ingenious. It may fall short of cross rift travel, but it's still an impressive achievement in my book. You're too kind. Suffice it to say, though, that I don't intend to rest on these laurels. There's always more to be done. Zero stayed in the void, did she? Well, if I had known it would come to that, I would have said a proper farewell. Really? I don't remember saying anything profound. Still, I'm glad that she got something out of her time here. As the days roll on, things will change for the both of us. But some things will remain as they are. As far as I'm concerned, Zero will always be a friend and comrade. And I will never forget her. If she's working tirelessly to restore the 13th, it wouldn't do to be outdone here. When next Zero visits, we must see to it that you have a shiny new Garlemald to show her. I agree. Indeed. And speaking of rebuilding, there's a matter I'd like to discuss with you and Alphino. Oh? Word has spread of our dealings with Razat Han, and people are excited by the prospect of standing on our own two feet again. Naturally, it won't be straightforward. It never is. But on the whole, I have a good feeling about things. In other words, it may be time for us to limit our involvement. That Garleans might take the lead? I can see the sense in that. No, no, that's not what I meant at all. Seeing as things are going well, we want you to take a rest. A proper rest. That's what I wanted to say on everyone's behalf. You've done so much for us already. Toiled beside us in the cold for far longer than anyone could ask. You've earned a reprieve a hundred times over. So go on. Step away from here and head wherever you like. But if it were me, <laughs> I'd choose somewhere, choose too. somewhere warm. <laughs> Oh shit! And Walker theme! And Walker theme! I, I was thinking of taking a break anyway. Far be it from us to go against such a heartfelt request. Though I would be lying were I to say matters here wouldn't weigh on our minds. We could take a leaf out of Zero's book and roam about for a while. Maybe visit nations who share little history with Garlemald. Look for opportunities to foster future relations. We might learn something of recent foreign affairs that has escaped our notice. Hmm. As an independent party, you would be well suited to the task. 
An excellent idea, Alice. Well, that hardly sounds like a rest at all. <laughs> Calls it a rest, bro. It is the best kind of rest. Stimulating and meaningful. If it's settled, then let's return to Charlian and consider our options. What about the rest of you? Do you have any plans? We're indebted to Lord Fortuno and his colleagues for their cooperation. Twould be meet to report on the outcome of our mission. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then it seems we are all bound for Charlian. Upon arriving, let us seek out Athelies at the Rostra and have her notify father. Almost done this quest line. So expensive. Hold up. Hold up. No, I can't check my. Never mind. I can't check my company. <laughs> Actually, I think. Uh, once we finish this quest, we'll head back to Diablos. I forgot. I'm not on. I'm still on Midgard's armor. <laughs> like, wait a second, I can't access my free company, because I am not on Diablos. <laughs> Alright. I could have just used the Earth right to go. Oh, well, whatever. Let's go say hi to Lord Flushnell. Good news, we've averted disaster. Again. Oh, hello, Kylie Mon. Apologies, kept you waiting. Just to <laughs> Weren't you in Garlemeld? So yeah, I uh, I went to the 13th and I blasted with Aether from the first and we blasted our way in through the darkness and then I went and I punched Goldbez in the face and then I went and punched Aromas in the face. Wait, raid? On YouTube? Huh? <laughs> Hello! I don't think I've ever been raided on YouTube. Welcome on in, raiders. <laughs> nice punching, right? <laughs> Hello! We're just finishing up the, uh, the 13th, uh, quest line. Gulbez. Trying to catch up since I'm super behind for Dawn Trail. Yeah, so spoilers alert if you've not done this. <laughs> yeah, so many backlogs. I still have to do the, the 12, the uh, 12, the raids of all the 12 gods or whatever too. The ones that never came to our help. <laughs> and I still have to do the one that has the one in, uh, what's the name? Elpis? The shit in the past. <laughs> I have so much stuff to catch up on. 
But yes, welcome on in. I would give you a shadow, but I don't think that's a thing on YouTube. I will punch everything. Except I'm a white mage, so it's more like I will club everything. <laughs> Why are you staring at her? Oh yeah, because she probably knows the most. Alright. And uh, she has this on her way. Glad to speak to you later. But yeah, I just catching up and everything so that I can be ready for when Dawn Trail comes out. Uh I'm super far behind because of where I live, my ISP blocks me from playing Final Fantasy. Since I'm in South Korea, South Korea has its own Final Fantasy servers and stuff and everything, so uh, I get blocked by my ISP to log on to the North America server. <laughs> I'm assuming this must be the last one, because we got a nice pretty picture of Vitra and his sister. Hello, hello! Welcome on in! Alright, have fun! Have a good sleep. It's like almost 2 a.m. for me, so I should be going to bed here soon. As soon as I finish this quest line. Oh, do they want us to come visit them? Hi, well, welcome on in. My name's Shinny. I'm a variety streamer. I play a bit of everything. Um, Final Fantasy XIV. I play, uh, I play, Fon I've actually just finished playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, I do a bunch of cute, cozy, comfy games like, uh, Stardew, Sunhaven, um, what else have we playing recently? Traveler's Rest, Baron Breakfast. I stream on YouTube and, uh, Twitch. Most, I'm trying to push most people to YouTube though because since I'm in Korea, uh, Twitch took my affiliate away from me because Twitch left Korea. But yeah, we're just working our way through backlog of story quests. I guess we are going then. All right, never mind. You're not going either, Rianje. All right, so it's gonna be me and Eustola and Astinian. We'll go do this, and then we'll go to the first. But yes, welcome on in. I didn't, I forgot that you can get raids on YouTube. I'll have to look into that when I'm done here, and I'll raid you guys out somewhere else. Ah, yes, hold on. Let me, let me teleport over to the first. How can I say no? Go see Heidi Reen again. Like the channel you want to raid into has to have the ability turned on and it's like hosting or something and unlock anything did i know what do i've done one two three four five all right okay give me a sec i'm going to i'm not done yet i'm just going to get back on my data center <laughs> i had to switch data centers because uh it was waiting like 35 minutes for me to for me to get into one of the duties that I needed it done, so I switched data centers to a more populated one. <laughs> so let me set myself back on my own data center real quick here. <laughs> what fight was it that I was trying to do? Gold beds? All I know is it took 35 minutes, I didn't get a pop. I switched to uh, Midgar Zormer on Aether and I got the pop within like five minutes, so. <laughs> Which is weird because there's a queue on my server. But whatever, we will. We'll go back to where we came from.
patiently waiting. It's okay, Q. There we go. Alright. Okay, so we need to go to Crystarium. Also, because I wanted to check this. Free company. What do we have? No actions. I gotta t I should have turned this on long ago. Save me a lot of money from doing all this. All right. Where am I going? Front. Oh, this way. Okay. I was kind of hoping that the whole aether from the first, the light from the first, was going to be a bigger nuke than it was, but oh well. Let's go say hi to everyone again. Hold up. You look like Ariange. Wait, your name is Ariange. Ariange. <laughs> I appreciate people that do that. That's so cool. Alright. Let me in. Alright, Zaramas has been punched. I bring a crystal for you. Ah, yes. <gasps> the king has already shared what they glimpsed in the source. The day is won, and the danger passed. Oh yeah, I forgot that... Hearing the tidings lifted a great weight from my shoulders. Never before had I taken on such a monumental request. Small though it was, we are glad to have played a role in saving the Exarch's home. And yours. Furthermore, the endeavor served to reaffirm the bond between the peoples of Norrant. Nurturing this bond, we will strive to be an example for the world Zero aspires to restore. Within. Kind of curious. Using darkness from the void to restore balance to this world. If such a thing could be done. Well, well. Though night has returned to our world, darkness cannot arise of its own accord, much less in abundance. But. If it could be brought here, in like manner to how we channeled light to the void, it may well be possible to restore the empty in its entirety. I feel like there's going to be a quest about that soon, too. still have that spirit vessel with you? Yes, I if do. so, I beg you loan it to me for a time. I would use it to investigate a way to have the tower receive rather than send energy. Yep, got that here too. Hold on a sec. Let me pull it out of my butt also. There you go. <laughs> Collecting crystals. Thank you. While I make no promises at this stage, I shall rigorously explore the possibility. I too need to explore new possibilities for my powers. My recent experience at Nabatha Reng has taught me that. To that end, I will set aside botany for a time and focus instead on myself. Is she a walrus? Out there, no, um, new men, new men. It inspires me it's a to a, they're a race. Efforts. 
They're like a magical race. They have a lot of magic and eat magic. Oh, there you are. There. I was wondering when you were going to show up. I waited and waited, but you never came. What have you been doing here? Gaia. Oh. Hi. Do I know you? Huh? Ugh. I never agreed to anything of the sort. Besides, coffee biscuits are old news. I'd rather try something else. What? I thought you liked them too. Well, no matter. The second serving has something for every taste. So let's just go. I'm confused. Does she not remember us? Enough about that. What were you talking about? Harnessing darkness from the void. Now there's an idea. Of course, if you're dealing with darkness, Reen alone won't cut it. Next time, call on me as well, all right? I'm not gonna lie, while I like Gaia, I don't like her lips. But did you actually forget about me, woman? That's done. No, but that confuses me with regards to... Huh, all right. Sorry, quickly went over and read something. All right, let's go to the Mega Duda. So I'd like to go to bed here soon, so I like wanna I wanna finish this quest, and then I can start something fresh tomorrow. Speaking of Gaia, there's an Eden.
question is. Oh! <laughs> it cannot be. <laughs> Vashan, my darling little brother. <laughs> what? <laughs> to think that I will never see you again. The way you carry on, anyone would think he was actually your brother. <laughs> Save your tears now. His Excellency still has one of his eyes. And he has made it clear he intends to continue using his vessel. You'll see Vashan again. Never fear. Hi, cannibal. Truly. But will it be the little one? Personally, I prefer the adult vessel. It cuts a gallant figure and has superior functionality besides. Bah. I don't care about such things. My little brother is... Little and adorable. <laughs> it's going Sisters, great. Give me strength. It is a fine thing being so loved. Kuro, hi, hi. Had enough of the revelry of you. Hi, Astinian. I will gladly stare at the moon with you. So, what's next for our hero? No idea. I know I have like the twelve to like take on. No need to decide just yet. You'll recall our escapades in the void began with a treasure map I paid entirely too much guilt for. Ah, oh, yes, I remember that. I remember how it all started. You can't force an adventure. It'll happen when it happens. You'll know when the time is right. Join him in that window. Till then, it's good to lend an ear to others and their tales. And speaking of others. Discussing each other's plans, are we? Alas, I have nothing exciting to share. I foresee an extended confinement in my Charlian chambers, compiling my theories on cross-rift travel. My research may be classified, prohibited by the powers that be. But so long as a bond exists between people, ever shall our worlds be connected. As it stands, a means to travel to the first is within reach. And I would be satisfied even should my research not exist in an official capacity. That's and what of you, Estinian? Have you any rug. plans? What? Where'd he go? <laughs> he never was one to stay put for long. Though I've no doubt he will make himself known when needed. Damn, bro just went out the fucking window. What the hell? Not even a goodbye, Estinian. Asshole. Oh. just answered yes. 
All right, let's show up. All right, off to Vitra. I'm guessing we go over to the Megaduda. We indeed go over to the Megaduda. We're almost done. Feel the end of this quest line. I feel like it flips soon. Oh, tiny baby. It, it's the cutie version, the little one. I believe that finishes this quest. I better still be able to see little tiny Ajdaya there, because I should have talked to her first, but... Oh, you're gonna finally gonna check that envelope? Everything appears to be in order. Oh, oh finished at last. So time-consuming. How nice would it be to have a mammoth to handle such tasks? Now then, let's have a look at you. Quite old, this letter. We'll need to store it carefully. Dressed to grandfather, and come all the way from Tuliolal, from a Gulu someone. Oh, the ink's too faded. Hardly anything is legible. Come on, give me something. A commission to investigate the Golden City in Tural. How odd. No one ever mentioned such a commission, nor have I seen any records. All right, well, that's Ooh, the opening to Dawn Trail. Something else in here. Unusual earring. How does it relate to the petition, I wonder? Oh, did you go there, Grandfather? To the Golden City in Tural? Wait, is that why? Huh. Giant boat. That looks like one of the limbs of La Minsa boats. No, it's not though, it's <sighs> the Weaver boat. Back again already, after making a show of leaving. Well, this is it, Charlene. Quite a far cry from Tuliolal, yes? Wait, what? Come, let's go and find your candidate. Our adventurer friend. Wait, 
You have another quest? I thought I was done. Okay, give me the, give me the. Do you speak? Razaton, home. Oh, should I speak? All right, well, unfortunately, we're gonna stop here. <laughs> uh, uh, let me, uh, hold on, let me uh, get to my. That's pretty, I like that. I like how it glows. Anyways. What are you wearing? Oh, that's the battle gear I saw. And you? What are you wearing? You're so not. I'm assuming you're wearing the exact same kind of gear. I have a stasis inside. Anyways, um, we're gonna head over to the, uh... Ah, Black Rose. We're gonna head over here. I'm gonna do my uh, my retainer super quick, and I'm gonna call it because I'm tired. I get almost divine war market prohibited Marshall katana market prohibited that would explain it then and we'll just friggin throw them at the thing over here all right I'm gonna figure out how to read out I will go find somebody. Alright, let me. Final Fantasy 14. And then I go. Okay. 
here. And then I go worldwide, live. go sorry I'm like figuring out how to raid with regards to YouTube and I think I learned all right so I think I need to go into the the actual stream itself not that one I think I figured it. All right, let me read out on the Twitch side here. Uh, see who's live. All right, I'm gonna send you guys to Plague. Uh, I know there's not very many of you, but uh, Plague raided me last night, so I'm gonna raid. Did I not spell that right? Alright, I'm gonna read out to Dr. Playgrat, and I'm gonna end here for the night, and I will not be back tomorrow because I'll be taking a break. I will go do other things with my life. Anyways, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chilling. I appreciate it. You're wearing the... Yeah, I... What are you wearing? Anyways, thank you so much. Have a great time. And maybe I'll see you guys on Friday. Also, thank you for the follows. Thanks for the raid on the YouTube side. Nice to meet you.